the configuration of the Hercus HYU or Air Ground Integration Training Aircraft, developed by TIE was shown for the first time within the scope of Exercise Anadolu and Kasi 2021. Developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries, the Herkus HYU Air Ground Integration Aircraft was showcased for the first time within the scope of Exercise Anadolu Ankasi 2021 held at the 3rd Main Jet Base Command. It is seen that the statically displayed Herkus HYU aircraft is equipped with four rockets and produced MAM-L ammunition. Nazakat Gunnery Orbe Product Director of the Directorate General of Aircraft TIE, stated, As you know, the Herkus is a training aircraft. The variant that we carry today is the Air Ground Integration Training Aircraft. This variant was designed and modified to provide task-oriented training. In fact, some of these are areas of training that you already know. We made it a different variant by making various improvements and modifications to the cockpit. The Herkus HYU, which is referred to as an advanced variant according to the needs of the 135th Fleet, is predicted to provide significant advantages with its low cost of use and advanced avionics systems. In addition to the Herkus's existing advanced features, the Herkes HYU will be able to integrate infrared electro-optical cameras, laser-guided and non-guided training munitions, as well as autopilot integration. Our deliveries to the 135th Fleet located at Konya's 3rd Main Jet Base are about to begin. We will send six Herkus Ground Air Integration Training Aircraft to the 135th Fleet. We are working on configuration. We will be dispatching our two base planes in no time. TAI's Fixed Wing Flight Test Manager, Barbaros de Merba, announced that the aircraft will be equipped with BD-33 training ammunition in addition to the MAM-L. The Herkus HYU will be used for training personnel working on the ground and performing laser marking tasks for aerial platforms. Thus, the Herkus HYU aircraft, which will replace the F-16 and F-4 in this regard, will provide significant economic savings. On the other hand, Herkus HYU made a demonstration flight as part of the leading observer's day conducted demonstration with four MAM-L ammunition without warheads. The Herkus HYU performance captivated the audience, which was also attended by Air Force Commander General Hassan Kuchikakus, Air Force Command officials, and members of the foreign press and Thai personnel, including General Manager Temel Kotil. It is estimated that the six Herkus HYU aircraft that will be delivered to the 135th Fleet will be produced by modifying the Herkus B aircraft previously produced for the Turkish Air Force. TUSAS is developing an aircraft with superior capabilities within the scope of Project Herkus B.